During the 1960s and 1970s, a popular comedy aired on ABC. It was the story of a witch named Samantha who married an average man, Darren Stevens. Despite its lengthy history and enormous popularity, even the most ardent fans are unaware of all the interesting behind the scenes information and facts about witchcraft. Let's go back in time and discover some fascinating details about the show. The creation of the popular TV series in the 1960s, Bewitched, was inspired by the films I Married a Witch and Bell Book and Candle. The show's lead actress, Elizabeth Montgomery, began her career in 1953 and was in her early 30s when she landed the role of Samantha Stevens in Bewitched. Montgomery's interest in acting began at a young age, and she pursued it with determination. She appeared in several television shows and films before being cast as Samantha Stevens, a witch who marries a mortal man and tries to live a normal life while dealing with her magical abilities. Bewitched quickly became a hit, and Montgomery's portrayal of Samantha Stevens was widely praised. Her comedic timing, combined with her ability to convincingly play a witch, made her the perfect fit for the role. The show ran for eight seasons and remains a beloved classic to this day. Montgomery's career continued to flourish after Bewitched ended. She appeared in numerous television shows and films showcasing her versatility as an actress. Despite her success, she never forgot her roots and remained dedicated to her craft until her untimely death in 1995. In conclusion, Elizabeth Montgomery's portrayal of Samantha Stevens in Bewitched was a defining moment in her career. Her talent and dedication to her craft helped make the show a success and solidified her place in television history. The popular 1964 TV series featured Elizabeth Montgomery, who played the lead role of a witch trying to live as a normal housewife. Montgomery's exceptional acting skills were recognized numerous times, with five nominations for Best Actress at the Primetime Emmys and four at the Golden Globes. However, she never won in any of these categories. Despite not taking home any awards, her performance in the series remains noteworthy and highly regarded. On the other hand, Richard Crina was offered the role of Darren Stevens, Montgomery's character's husband, but turned it down due to scheduling conflicts with another project. The show's success proved that even without Crenna's involvement, it was still able to captivate audiences and leave a lasting impact on television history. Despite Montgomery's lack of awards, the show's popularity endured, and it remains a beloved classic in television history. The show's unique premise and Montgomery's memorable performance continue to resonate with audiences even today. Meanwhile, Crena's decision to turn down the role did not hinder his successful career in the industry as he went on to star in various films and television shows. Dick York's departure from the popular 1960s TV series was a significant event for fans. York, who played the role of Darren Stevens, had to leave the show due to a severe back injury he had suffered several years earlier. In 1959, while filming they came to Cordura, York injured his back, an injury that would eventually lead to his departure from the series. Despite the pain, York continued to work, determined to fulfill his commitments. However, as the show's filming progressed, his injury became more debilitating, leading to his replacement. Dick Sargent took over the role of Darren Stevens, a change that disappointed and confused many fans. The sudden switch, known as the Darren Syndrome, left viewers wondering what had happened to their beloved character and actor. York's injury was a significant setback, not only for the show, but also for his career. His determination to continue working despite his pain is a testament to his dedication and professionalism. Unfortunately, his injury forced him to step away from the limelight, leaving a void that Sargent tried to fill. The sudden change in actors was a shock to the show's fans, who had become accustomed to York's portrayal of Darren Stevens. While Sargent did his best to embody the character, he could never fully replace York, who had made the role his own. In the end, York's injury and departure from the show were a significant loss for fans and the entertainment industry. His talent and dedication to his craft left a lasting impact, and his absence was felt by all who had come to love his portrayal of Darren Stevens. The ratings for the TV series took a hit when York was replaced by Sargent as Darren Stevens. The character of Gladys Kravitz underwent a change as well, with Alice Pierce, who won an Emmy posthumously, being replaced by Sandra Good. 
Initially, Pierce brought a certain charm to the role of Gladys Kravitz, but after her departure, Good took over and gave her own spin to the character. Despite the change, the show continued to face rating struggles. Meanwhile, Tammy Grimes, who was considered for the role of Samantha, declined the offer to work on her own show. Unfortunately, her show only lasted for six episodes, which may have led her to regret her decision. It's interesting to imagine how the show would have turned out if Grimes had accepted the role of Samantha. Her unique talent and comedic timing may have provided a fresh perspective to the series. Nonetheless, the show mustered on and continued to entertain audiences, despite its struggles with ratings and casting changes. Elizabeth Montgomery's pregnancies during the show's run brought about changes in the storylines. The actress, who played the lead role of Samantha, was pregnant three times while filming. To accommodate her real-life condition, the writers had to adjust the script, incorporating her pregnancies into the story. In addition to Montgomery's real-life pregnancies, the actress had a close relationship with her co-star, Agnes Moorhead, who played Endora, Samantha's mother. Moorhead and Montgomery shared a strong bond off-screen, which translated into their on-screen chemistry. Their friendship added depth to their character's complex relationship. Dick York, who played Darren, Samantha's husband, was also close friends with Moorhead. The two actors had a strong working relationship, which helped to create the believable and endearing dynamic between their characters. The use of magic in the show was achieved through simple camera tricks and stage hands. When Samantha would twitch her nose to cast a spell, a stage hand would pull a string attached to a prop, creating the illusion of magic. The show's creators wanted to keep the magic effects simple and subtle to maintain the focus on the characters and their relationships. In conclusion, the personal relationships between the actors and the incorporation of real life events into the storylines added depth and complexity to the show. The simple yet effective magic effects helped to create the enchanting and captivating world of the series. The house featured in the TV series is a well-known location, having been used in several films and still standing on the Warner Brothers Pictures lot. Interestingly, the actress who played Samantha, Elizabeth Montgomery, didn't actually wiggle her nose to perform magic. Instead, she would move her top lip, a detail that many viewers might not be aware of, Another aspect of the show that might go unnoticed is the clothing worn by the supporting actors. Unlike the lead actors, who had their costumes provided for them, the supporting cast was responsible for bringing their own clothing to the set. Despite these behind-the-scenes details, the show remains a beloved classic, with Samantha's signature nose twitch still instantly recognizable to fans of all ages. The enduring appeal of the series is a testament to the talent and creativity of the cast and crew who brought the magical world of Samantha and Darren to life on screen. In the popular 1964 TV series, Elizabeth Montgomery, who played the lead role, suggested the name Tabitha for her on-screen daughter. This name was inspired by Edward Andrews' child, giving life to a character that would become an essential part of the show's narrative. Later, the spin-off show Tabitha was introduced focusing on the character of Tabitha as she embarked on her own magical journey. However, it did not gain the same level of popularity as the original series. In one particular episode of the show, titled Sisters at Heart, the plot was developed with the help of inner-city African-American students. This collaboration brought a fresh perspective to the show, highlighting the importance of unity and sisterhood. The character of Tabitha, named by Montgomery, became a significant part of the show's legacy, and the spin-off, though not as popular, still held its own charm. The involvement of the African-American students in the creation of the Sisters at Heart episode added a unique touch to the series, making it a memorable part of television history. The 1964 TV series, often simply referred to as the show, tackled the issue of prejudice in an episode that received critical acclaim, and even an Emmy Governor's Award. The episode, titled Sisters at Heart, addressed the topic in a way that was both nuanced and impactful, leaving a lasting impression on viewers. One of the standout performances in the series came from Marion Lorne, who played the lovable Aunt Clara. In real life, Lorne had a quirky hobby she collected doorknobs. It said that she had quite the collection, with doorknobs of all shapes and sizes. 
Unfortunately, the series is also associated with some inaccuracies in Elizabeth Montgomery's obituary. For instance, her age was reported incorrectly and her marital status was also misrepresented. These errors, while minor, serve as a reminder that even in death, mistakes can be made. Despite these minor issues, the show remains a beloved classic with its memorable characters and engaging storylines continuing to captivate audiences to this day. In the 1964 TV series, some cast members were known to be inebriated during filming. This was due to the use of real alcohol in certain scenes, which added a level of authenticity, but also led to some tipsy performances. The show also featured fraternal twins, Aaron and Diane Murphy, who both played the role of Tabitha Stevens, the daughter of the main character, Samantha. This unique casting choice allowed for a more seamless portrayal of the young character as she grew up over the course of the series. Additionally, the film faced competition from NBC's I Dream of Jeannie, another popular show featuring a female lead with supernatural abilities. However, despite Jeannie's success, it was ultimately Bewitched that captured the hearts of audiences and became the more popular show. The use of real alcohol, the unique casting of the twins, and the show's triumph over its competition all contributed to the legacy of this beloved TV series. The main character of the TV series was initially set to be named Cassandra, but this was later changed to Samantha. This change likely contributed to the character's enduring popularity and recognition. The actress who played Samantha, Elizabeth Montgomery, also took on the role of Serena, Samantha's cousin, in 24 episodes of the show. Montgomery's ability to convincingly portray two distinct characters further showcased her versatility as an actress. The theme song of the film is instantly recognizable with its catchy tune and playful lyrics. However, the lyrics were never actually used in the show. It's interesting to imagine how the opening sequence might have been different with the lyrics included. The upbeat and lighthearted theme song perfectly sets the tone for the show and its focus on magic and whimsy. Hanna-Barbera Animation created the animated opening for the show. Agnes Moorhead landed the role of Endora after a chance encounter with Montgomery and her husband. Paul Lind made an early appearance on the show before becoming a regular as Uncle Arthur. The cast of the popular TV series underwent a significant change in 1969, when Dick Sargent replaced Dick York in the role of Darren Stevens. This transition was not well received by everyone, particularly Agnes Moorhead, who played Endora. Moorhead expressed her dislike for the change, reportedly finding it difficult to work with Sargent. The change in cast also had an impact on the show's ratings. Prior to Sargent's arrival, the series had been a consistent hit with audiences. However, after York's departure, viewership began to decline significantly. Despite the challenges faced during the filming of the show and the subsequent drop in ratings, some of the cast members received posthumous recognition for their work on the series. Alice Pierce, who played Gladys Kravitz, won an Emmy Award for Outstanding Supporting Actress in a Comedy Series in 1966, while Marion Lorne, who played Aunt Clara, won the same award in 1967. Unfortunately, both actresses passed away before the Emmys were presented, making their awards posthumous. Pierce died in 1966, while Lorne passed away in 1968. Their contributions to the show were still recognized and celebrated, however, as their talent and dedication to their roles left a lasting impact on the series. In the end, the cast changes and declining ratings did little to diminish the legacy of the show. The series remains a beloved classic, with fans continuing to enjoy its unique blend of humor, fantasy, and family dynamics. The initial airing of the TV series was originally set for September 20, 1964, but it was postponed due to the tragic assassination of President John F. Kennedy. The network executives decided to delay the premiere out of respect for the late president and to allow the nation to mourn. The series eventually made its debut on Thursday, September 25, 1964, at 900 p.m. In the set design of the Stevens House, a replica of Rembrandt's famous painting girl with a broom was featured prominently. This painting was chosen to be included in the set as a tribute to the high art of the past. The use of such a well-known and respected piece of art in the set design added a level of sophistication and class to the show, and it was a visual treat for the viewers who were familiar with the painting. 
The inclusion of the painting in the set design also served as a reminder that the show was not just about magic and comedy, but it also had a deeper meaning and a connection to the larger world of art and culture. The use of the painting as a prop also allowed the characters to interact with it and to use it as a way to add depth and complexity to their personalities and to the storylines. In conclusion, the premiere delay and the inclusion of the Rembrandt painting in the set design were both important decisions that helped to shape the tone and the overall feel of the TV series. These elements added a level of sophistication and depth to the show, and they helped to set it apart from other similar series that were airing at the time. The 1964 TV series Bewitched holds a special place in television history. This groundbreaking show introduced the first lead female character who was a witch, challenging stereotypes and paving the way for future female-centric shows. The show's impact was immediate, with a successful eight-year run and a loyal fan base that continues to grow today. The series revolves around Samantha, a witch who marries a mortal man and vows to live as a housewife, using her powers only when necessary. The show's unique blend of fantasy and comedy, along with its exploration of themes such as acceptance, love, and family, made it a hit with audiences. Bewitched also had a significant impact on popular culture. The show's iconic theme song and the signature twitch of Samantha's nose when using her powers have become instantly recognizable symbols of the series. The show's influence can also be seen in later productions, such as the movie Practical Magic and the television series Charmed both of which feature strong female leads who navigate the challenges of being witches in a modern world. Despite being over 50 years old, Bewitched remains relevant today. The show's themes of acceptance and love continue to resonate with audiences, and its portrayal of a strong, independent female lead is still inspiring. The show's impact on popular culture is also undeniable, with its influence still visible in modern productions, in conclusion, Bewitched was a groundbreaking television series that challenged stereotypes and paved the way for future female-centric shows. Its unique blend of fantasy and comedy, along with its exploration of themes such as acceptance, love, and family, have made it a timeless classic. The show's impact on popular culture is still visible today, and its portrayal of a strong, independent female lead continues to inspire. The casting process for Bewitched, the beloved 1964 TV series, was a fascinating journey. Each key actor was chosen with care, following rigorous auditions and chemistry tests. Elizabeth Montgomery, who played the lead role of Samantha Stevens, was an obvious choice. She had already made a name for herself in theater and television. Montgomery's ability to blend innocence with magical mischief made her the perfect fit for the role. Dick York who played Samantha's mortal husband. Darren Stevens was selected from a pool of talented actors. His comedic timing and ability to portray a bewildered yet loving husband won over the producers. York's audition left a lasting impression, making him the ideal choice for the role. Agnes Moorhead, who played Endora, Samantha's mother, was a seasoned actress. Her experience in theater and film brought depth to the character. Moorhead's audition showcased her talent and her ability to portray a character with a mix of humor and arrogance. David White, who played Larry Tate, Darren's boss, was chosen for his comedic skills and ability to portray a likable yet demanding character. White's audition demonstrated his talent, making him the perfect fit for the role. The chemistry tests were pivotal in defining the cast. The producers wanted to ensure that the actors had a natural chemistry, which was crucial for the success of the show. The casting directors arranged for read-throughs and screen tests, allowing the actors to interact and build a rapport. The auditions and chemistry tests revealed that Montgomery, York, Moorhead, and White had a natural chemistry. Their interactions were believable and entertaining, making them the perfect cast for Bewitched. In conclusion, the casting process for Bewitched was a thorough and thoughtful journey. Each actor was chosen based on their talent, audition, and chemistry with the other cast members. The result was a captivating and enduring TV series that continues to charm audiences today. The director of Bewitched, William Asher, brought a unique vision to life through his creative influences and distinctive style. Asher, who was already an experienced director in the industry, approached Bewitched with a fresh take on the sitcom genre. He focused on visual comedy 
using creative camera angles and movements to enhance the humor in each episode. Asher's style was heavily influenced by his background in directing films. He brought a cinematic quality to the show, using techniques such as wide shots and close-ups to create a more dynamic viewing experience. Asher's use of visual comedy was also influenced by his work with the legendary comedy duo, the Marx Brothers. Collaboration was key to Asher's approach. He worked closely with the cast and crew to ensure that everyone was on the same page. Asher had a strong working relationship with the show's star, Elizabeth Montgomery, and the two often collaborated on the development of her character, Samantha. Asher's collaborative approach extended to the show's writers as well. He encouraged them to push the boundaries of the sitcom genre and to incorporate elements of fantasy and magic into the show's storylines. Asher's vision for Bewitched was to create a show that was not only funny, but also magical and imaginative. Asher's direction was instrumental in bringing the world of Bewitched to life. His focus on visual comedy, cinematic style, and collaborative approach helped to create a show that resonated with audiences and has endured for generations. The 1964 TV series Bewitched took viewers into a captivating world of magic and comedy. The set design was innovative, contributing to the show's unique charm. The main setting, the Stevens home, was designed with a practical and magical twist. The interior boasted a modern, mid-century style, while the exterior was a quaint, suburban home. A special effects team was on hand to create magical illusions, such as objects floating or disappearing. Filming locations varied, with the majority taking place on sound stages at Columbia Ranch in Burbank, California. Some exterior shots were filmed in nearby residential neighborhoods to capture the idyllic suburban setting. However, the show's supernatural elements required the production team to get creative. They built a magic door on stage, which allowed characters to enter and exit the home through various magical portals. Logistical challenges arose from the show's supernatural elements. The production team had to coordinate closely with the special effects team to ensure that magical scenes were seamless and believable. They also had to consider the safety of the cast and crew when filming magical stunts. Despite these challenges, the production team employed innovative techniques and technologies to bring the magical world of Bewitched to life. They used early forms of chroma key or green screen technology to create magical backdrops and environments. They also used motion control cameras to film complex magical effects, allowing for precise and consistent movement. In conclusion, the production of Bewitched was a complex and innovative process. The set design, filming locations, and logistical challenges all contributed to the show's unique charm and enduring legacy. The production team's use of innovative techniques and technologies helped to create a captivating and magical world that resonated with audiences. The music in the show was carefully crafted to enhance the narrative and emotional tone. Composers and musicians worked closely with the creators to ensure that the music complemented each scene. Insights from the composers and musicians revealed their focus on using melodies and arrangements to evoke the show's magical and whimsical elements. They aimed to create a soundtrack that enhanced the comedic and enchanting atmosphere of the series, contributing to its overall charm and appeal. Moreover, pivotal scenes in the series showcased exemplary direction, performance, and cinematography. Filmmakers and actors alike emphasized the significance of these moments in captivating the audience. They discussed how meticulous direction brought out the nuances of each character, while performances breathed life into the script. Cinematography played a crucial role in setting the mood and enhancing the visual appeal of these iconic scenes. Collaborative efforts between the cast and crew ensured that these moments left a lasting impact on viewers, solidifying the show's place in television history. The 1964 TV series Bewitched quickly captivated audiences with its enchanting story of a witch named Samantha who marries a mortal man. The show's lighthearted approach to magic and romance resonated with viewers, providing a much needed escape from the realities of the time. Set in the suburban town of Westport, Connecticut, Bewitched offered a glimpse into the everyday lives of its characters, albeit with a magical twist. The show's depiction of a blended family, where a witch and a mortal coexist, was a novel concept that captured the imagination of audiences. Bewitched's influence on pop culture was significant. 
The show's catchy theme song, an iconic opening sequence featuring actress Elizabeth Montgomery twitching her nose, became instantly recognizable. The series also popularized the idea of witches as glamorous and benevolent figures, paving the way for future portrayals of witches in media. Moreover, Bewitched contributed to discussions on relevant social and cultural themes. The show tackled issues such as gender roles, conformity, and the generation gap, albeit in a subtle and humorous way. Samantha's character challenged traditional gender norms, often using her magic to bypass societal expectations and assert her independence. The show's exploration of conformity and individuality also struck a chord with audiences. Samantha's desire to live a normal life with her mortal husband often clashed with her family's expectations, highlighting the tension between societal pressure to conform and the desire to be true to oneself. In conclusion, Bewitched left an indelible mark on television history. Its enchanting storyline, memorable characters, and exploration of relevant social themes captivated audiences and influenced pop culture. The show's enduring legacy continues to inspire and delight viewers to this day. Bewitched, the popular 1964 TV series, received positive reviews from critics and audiences alike. The show's unique blend of fantasy and comedy centered around a witch who marries a mortal, captured viewers' hearts and imaginations. Critics praised the show's leading actress, Elizabeth Montgomery, for her comedic timing and charm. In a 1964 review, Time magazine called Montgomery a witty, wistful redhead who made an enchanting witch. The New York Times also commended Montgomery's performance, noting that she displays a delightful flair for comedy. The show's supporting cast, including Agnes Moorhead as Montgomery's mother and Dick York as her husband, also received critical acclaim. Variety magazine described York as a skilled comedian who provided an excellent foil for Montgomery. Bewitched was a hit with audiences as well. The show consistently ranked in the top 20 shows during its eight-year run and had a loyal following. Fans appreciated the show's lighthearted humor and magical elements, which provided a welcome escape from the realities of the 1960s. The show also received several award nominations. In 1966, Elizabeth Montgomery was nominated for an Emmy Award for Outstanding Continued Performance by an Actress in a Leading Role in a Comedy Series. The show was also nominated for several Golden Globe Awards, including Best Television Series Musical or Comedy and Best Actress in a Television Series Musical or Comedy for Montgomery. Receiving critical acclaim and award nominations is a significant accomplishment for those involved in a film or TV series. It not only validates their hard work and talent, but also helps to increase the show's visibility and popularity. For the cast and crew of Bewitched, these accolades were a testament to the show's enduring appeal and the talent of its stars. The positive reception of the show also helped to solidify Montgomery's status as a leading actress in the entertainment industry. During the filming of Bewitched, the show's star, Elizabeth Montgomery, was known for her practical jokes on set. She once replaced Dick York's car with an identical-looking vehicle that was filled with balloons. A surprise York couldn't understand why his car was so slow until he realized it was full of balloons and not gas. The show's iconic twitching nose effect was achieved through a combination of makeup and visual effects. For close-up shots, Montgomery wore a small piece of wire and plastic on her nose, which was then manually twisted by the special effects team in post-production. In wide shots, a separate nose appliance was used and the twitching effect was added in during editing. Behind the scenes, the show's cast and crew became close friends and formed a tight-knit community. Elizabeth Montgomery and her husband, actor Gig Young, often hosted cast parties at their home where the cast would relax and socialize away from the cameras. Despite the show's lighthearted tone, filming Bewitched was not without its challenges. In 1969, Dick York was forced to leave the series due to chronic back pain and was replaced by Dick Sargent. The sudden cast change was kept a secret from the public and the character of Darren Stevens was said to have simply gotten a new haircut. Overall, the making of Bewitched was a memorable and enjoyable experience for all involved. The show's cast and crew look back on their time together with fondness, and the show's legacy continues to captivate audiences today. The TV series Bewitched, which first aired in 1964, has left an indelible mark on film history. 
This enchanting show about a witch who marries a mortal man brought magic into the living rooms of Americans every week. Its innovative blend of fantasy and comedy paved the way for future filmmaking, inspiring shows like I Dream of Jeannie and Sabrina the Teenage Witch. Elizabeth Montgomery, who played the lead character Samantha, became a beloved figure in American television. Her portrayal of a modern witch trying to balance her supernatural abilities with suburban life resonated with audiences. The show's unique take on family, marriage, and feminism for its time was groundbreaking and continues to be analyzed by scholars today. Bewitched also had a significant impact on the film industry behind the scenes. It was one of the first shows to use electronic special effects, such as the now iconic twitch of Samantha's nose to cast spells. These effects, while simple by today's standards, were revolutionary at the time and helped shape the future of visual storytelling. Moreover, the show's influence extends beyond television and film. In 2005, a feature film adaptation of Bewitched was released, starring Nicole Kidman and Will Ferrell. The show has also been adapted into a stage musical and has inspired various merchandise, from toys to clothing. In conclusion, Bewitched remains a captivating and enduring piece of television history. Its innovative storytelling, memorable characters, and groundbreaking special effects continue to inspire filmmakers and entertain audiences to this day. Furthermore, we invite viewers to share their personal experiences and memories connected to the 1964 TV series Bewitched. Reflect on how this show impacted your life or influenced your perspective on cinema. Engage with us by liking, sharing, and subscribing for more cinematic explorations. Your contributions enrich the conversation and foster a deeper appreciation for this timeless classic.